it. Yeah. And speaking of living in the moment, we want to bring up our experts at this moment to our stage here at Space Center Houston. They've been prepping the crowd that is gathered here on Independence Plaza with a play-by-play -play color commentary of what get. we've seen thus far. Okay, give us an update, a check of where we are right now with the eclipse for us. Andy Shanner with the Lunar and Planetary Institute. Thank you. What time is it? Remind me. Yeah, that's right. It's 107. Uh, 107. Okay, so we're about a half hour from totality. So we're about halfway to halfway, I guess. Halfway so to halfway. <laughs> so as we... Quarter. About quarter, thanks. Quarter. That's how we got the astronaut. Uh, so yeah, so we're just seeing the moon slowly but surely creep across the sun, uh, the face of the sun. And about uh, about a half hour, we'll see about 94% of the sun will be covered by the moon from our perspective here in Houston. Yeah. So and for you, this is exciting because you're watching it from the ground, but you've you know you've been in space before. What's the view like from space? The the view of space um, is uh, incredible. The uh, most beautiful thing to, uh, to look at from uh, low Earth orbit is uh, Earth, right? So beautiful, day or night, good weather or bad. But uh, when I was off stage, I was thinking uh, before about a commercial. Can I do a short commercial break here? Um, can I see a show of hands? You don't have to turn around and face the stage because we can see y'all. Anybody want to fly in space? A few of you. Wow. I got an email uh, late last week from the office, right, just across the street, and they asked me to tell everybody I talked to that they're looking for you right now. They're looking for astronauts, yes. now hiring. And uh, I believe the website is usajobs.gov, usajobs.gov, and they asked if um, if I would tell y'all to, uh, to go on the website and apply if you want to fly in space, uh, NASA is looking for you right Talk now. Talk about our, motivation our, to apply today. And we're watching a lot of live imagery on our screen right now. We've seen images of the view from Mexico. Wow. As I well think this as is Eagle, Eagle Pass, Pass Texas. right? Texas. Look exactly. at that. Exactly. So this is the experience happening right now. And the moon on the move. Is that the appropriate term to use, Andy, in this case? Describe this Eagle Pass shot here, Andy. Yeah, so the moon is on the move, but remember the Earth is also rotating under the moon and sun, so we're seeing both effects at the same time. But yeah, here at Eagle Pass, they're seeing about half the sun covered right now. That's a fantastic view. Wow. Uh, that's, that's, that's great. And we can only hope for the same here shortly. Absolutely. Well, we're, getting, we're getting the breaks. Like we we're are. About. We're getting the breaks. And I keep telling people that, you know, every time... Every per periodically you look up, like right now there's cloud cover, but we have looked up and you could see the sun, you could see the partial eclipse happening, and then the, the clouds come in. So we're just hoping the break happens uh, at the perfect time. We want to break for about four minutes Yeah. <laughs> at the right time. This is all weather dependent, this event is. If the weather doesn't cooperate, you don't have much of a view unless you're flying above the cloud. But I'm actually surprised that we are seeing more of the eclipse than I thought we would today, even with the low cloud cover that David Paul has been talking about. Yeah, I, I was pretty concerned, uh, or bummed, maybe is a better term, uh, leading up to today. But yeah, rain has stayed away, at least down here. Uh, clouds are breaking. That, 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 that's great. And we have the shadows of the Independence Replica shuttle, as well as the NASA shuttle carrier. This is a live shot of uh, totality in Mexico. Look at this. So if you guys want to look at this screen right here, our fans out here at Space Center Hughes, that is what totality looks like a in Mexico. Andy... Yeah. And I, I have to ask you both, we're seeing those little dots around the moon. There's a term for those as well, what we're seeing there. So what you're seeing right now around that dark edge, especially about the four o'clock position, yeah. that's what we call a solar prominence. Uh, so this is just basically, it's a magnetic field line coming up off the sun's surface and looping back down again. And it's just really hot, so it's just glowing very, very brightly. Uh, that's a mouse cursor right in the middle, so we can ignore that. <laughs> oh. uh, how did a mouse cursor get on the moon, Andy? But uh, yeah, any, anything like you see like that sticking off of the edges. And now uh, it looks like smoke that's surrounding oh. the moon, but uh, are those well, clouds? or So what that could be clouds. <laughs> but what, you, what we are all seeing, just right off the edge, that, that diffuse looking, that's the corona we we're talking about. The outer atmosphere of the sun that you can only see during an eclipse. There's another one that's popped up just like 3.30-ish that I don't think was, oh, now it's kind of fading oh, by the cloud. I see but, well, the clouds are behind, but yeah, they're, they're yeah. dynamic. You can, you can watch those things change shape and size wow. over time. So reminding people again, this is an actual total eclipse. 
uh, in uh, Mexico right now. And so we're hoping that we will be able to see something similar here in about 20 minutes. So that's the view when you look up at the sky from Mexico. Mm -hmm. But what about down on the ground? Would they be in complete darkness right now? Not complete darkness, but awfully dark. Awfully dark. Uh, awfully much darker than it should be at, at this time of day. Animals will be behaving differently. People are probably behaving differently, <laughs> but in a, hopefully in a good way. So we're looking at this shot. I just want to paint a picture for you. Folks oh, wow, here have like that. gathered in front of our monitor to watch the totally clip shot. That's amazing. That is amazing. And also on this big screen over here, I think, there's a shot, right? From Mexico, there's a bigger screen for folks can, you can go So over the luxury up. of being here at Space Center Houston and having this as our playground today is our partnership with the NASA and the live imagery that we're seeing from NASA as well, too. There are the cameras from space, obviously, NASA's cameras on grounds. They have- So look at that. That's a, that's a, the, the moon is starting to edge a little bit. Till, is, that what, is that what I'm looking at? Yes. So the moon is, is just come out of totality there in Mexico. There was a really bright flash there a few yes. seconds ago. That's that's immediately as it comes out of totality and that really bright flash of light they call the wow. diamond ring effect. Uh, What's the effect? Say that again. Uh, the diamond ring effect. Diamond, diamond ring. ring. Oh, I like the sound of and that. If you were somebody, <laughs> I'm not familiar. If you were somebody who was there in totality viewing that and you had your glasses looking at it, there are people on the ground there letting you know, saying, okay, in 10 seconds, you got to take. You got to put your glasses back on. Five, wow. four. They count down and say, right. glasses back on. Because, because some people take their glasses off during the process when you have that shroud of darkness, right? Totality. Yeah. You can you can look at it without the glasses. In totality, you can look at it without glasses. That's right. But it, it's a very short amount of time, and it, that time depends on where you are. Here, we're not going to have that opportunity. If you're looking at the sun here keep those glasses on yeah and this is live imagery from right here at space center houston that we're seeing on khou 11 news right now this is from our zach talatari's camera live imagery of the eclipse happening and we've put definitely your, seen more of the sun now covered put your glasses just on, even folks. from a put few your glasses minutes on ago and look up. <laughs> Yeah, this is, this oh, is great. Oh, glasses. that is awesome. Yes. The all-important reminder to have those protective glasses on. You need them in order to witness this phenomenon, this experience, this experience that we won't see for another 20 years, although this is a common occurrence, eclipse are. Yeah, uh, solar eclipses occur about twice a year. It just depends on if you're lucky enough to be in that path where you can see it. The next one will be in about 20 years. That's visible from uh, the contiguous United States. August 2044, right? I think that's that. Yeah, 2044. August sounds about right. Yeah. So if we're we're looking up right now, guys, and uh, you know it's partial, partial, but we've got a view, which is this is amazing. Well, we have a meteorologist and an astronaut here. So I, I, with those two, is I that what it is? I think and, it's what it is. And even right. better, I just noticed. Check out Gonzo. He's been painting. Uh, like oh, I yeah. saw uh, what I thought was the moon before, and then the sun. But now uh, he's uh, updating the uh, the solar eclipse on the mural as uh, as we watch it happen. All right, David Paul is going to join us as well now too. Much dimmer. Look at how much dimmer it's got. It seems more windy. Here, right? for yeah, sure. that wasn't just because you jumped on the stage, no, no. right? There. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think you raised the average IQ. You didn't. You didn't dim us down. Uh, we're at we're at about 75 percent eclipse right now. I mean, 75 right and we go to 94, 95. 94. Yeah, it's, and the wind is helping us, right, Dave? The wind is helping to mix the clouds, mix the atmosphere, and give us these breaks, these holes in the clouds, as Tony was describing earlier. And right now. I mean, we've got a great view of it this with your great shot. Oh, God, it's so beautiful. <laughs> that is amazing. I'm so happy that we're not missing it. We can see this. Uh, you this know, is the break we were hoping for. Wow. It actually is happening. We're getting lucky. We're getting a break. Just amazing. So that's 75% included. We're going to 94%. I can't wait to see what that looks like. But it's noticeably darker here. It's another, uh, what, 15 minutes, right, Andy? That before we have I just have to totality. ask everyone who's here, all of our friends who are covering Independence Plaza at Space Center Houston, how's the view? Yeah! <laughs> they are liking the view. They yeah. love that the clouds have parted, that the wind is blowing and mixing things up, as you said, Dave. Enjoy this, because it'll be another 20 years, folks. Enjoy it. Right, and in 20 years, that eclipse, we won't be getting near the view in Texas that we're getting with this one. <laughs> this is the one to see, and I'm so grateful that we're able to see oh, man. what we're seeing here. And that's why it's 
being dubbed or called the Great American Eclipse because so much of America is able to witness this, unlike other eclipses that we've had before. 15 states total will experience some totality in those states. 30 some million people. It's a, it's amazing. Yeah, and, and I think in the, uh, October, October last, no, no, June. June of 2017, when we had the last total solar eclipse, it was just a few million people who were in a position yeah. to see it. So it comes down to just being lucky. Yeah. yeah. In some respects. <laughs> so that eclipse in 2017, we didn't get near the amount of coverage that we're getting right it, now. It, was that a partial 70 eclipse? Of, for us, it was partial. Yes. It was yeah, about David 70 Paul, some percent. Yeah. David Paul, yeah. we're never okay. going to forget that Let's eclipse of 2017. Let's check in now with Ron and Rekha. Yeah, guys, we're never going to forget that eclipse of 2017. <laughs> well, that, that eclipse. That yeah, one because. burned into our brain because right after that eclipse, we had Harvey to deal yes. with. So. I don't want to yes. think about it. Yeah, so this we one at the moment, no, no big uh, hurricane coming after this eclipse. <laughs>